In this session, we are going to see how we can debug a transactional RFC. That means how we can debug a process which is going to be called under the background task. So let's go and see. Here I'm having a RFC function module, JED test underscore RFC. And these are, we are having some piece of code. This function module are getting called under the background task. So let me call this one, call function and the name of the function in background task. This is how we are going to call. We know that if you have gone through my TRFC, QRFC related previous videos, there we have discussed the all required syntax in detail, right? If you don't give any destination, by default destination is going to be your local system. That means by default, the destination is going to be none. None means local system, right? So even if you're not going to give a destination, anything, it's going to be the local system. Generally, we call any RFC FM in background task. If that particular RFC FM are there in the remote system, in another system, right? This is one of the technique in order to achieve the SAP LUW, right? So let's go and see how we can and debug this one, check the syntax, activate this. And here, this uh, task, this particular RFC FM is going to get executed once it is going to come across the commit walk statement. So let's activate and run this one. I've run this, right? I have put the breakpoint over here. Okay, I just missed to put the breakpoint. Let me put the breakpoint. Okay, because this is the RFC FM, I'm just going to put the external breakpoint and let me run it. You can see that when I, I'm running this one, it's getting stopped it over here, right? Press F8 and that's fine. Let me run it once again. Okay. And here, you can see that it's again getting stopped, right? So this is one way how we can debug and you know uh, TRFC function module, right? Which is getting called in the background task. Another way in order to debug this one, what we can do that, we can go into debugger mode. Let's put the breakpoint over here and just run this one and go into these settings, change debugger profile and settings. And here you have this option, TRFC block sending, right? So, what you can do that you can enable this one TRFC block sending, click on this OK button and then click on this F8. Okay, so now you have come out from this particular uh, session, right? And the same LUW we can debug through the transaction SM58. Let's go to the SM58 and run this one and you can see that it is still here got stuck, right? Which we can go and now debug. Select this one, click on this edit button and debug LUW. And now press uh, F8, it is getting a stopped over here. So this is the second way how you can uh, debug the background task. So both is fine, depends on the, like if the first way is not going to work, you know, you can try with the second way. So for today, this is what I wanted to share. Thank you for watching, be in touch with me. And for different courses, you can check out my website over here, www.saptechmedici.com. 
and here under the courses you can find different courses from scratch to advanced thank you once again bye bye have a nice day